Good morning. Welcome to those of you who are here in church and to those of you watching online. Thank you for joining us today as we celebrate the solemnity of our Holy Father, Dominic, the founder of our Dominican order and the patron saint of our parish. August is a month where we celebrate and honor the Dominican family. August 2nd is the feast day of Blessed Jane, the mother of Saint Dominic. August 18th is the feast of Blessed Mans, the older brother of Saint Dominic. And August 8th is the feast day of Saint Dominic himself. We join the Dominican friars, nuns, sisters, and laity, as we give God thanks for St. Dominic's contributions to the Church. Our readings for Mass are taken from the Mass of St. Dominic's Feast Day. In today's Gospel, Jesus commissions the disciples to go out into the world to proclaim the salvation of Jesus Christ. This mission was not only for the disciples, not only to Dominicans, but for every single Christian. How are we sharing the joy that Jesus has given us to our friends, family, and co-workers today? How am I an example of someone overflowing with gospel joy? Please remember to silence your cell phones so that we can worship God without destruction. Thank you. The celebrant for this Mass is Father Francis, and the preacher is Father Isaiah Mary. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Dear brothers and sisters, the joy of celebrating the friar Dominic as he attracted people to his great vision to bring a light into the church and to bring the truth into the heart of error and uh, the, the paths that, that lead away from the great blessing that God wishes to give us in his love and in his son. So let us at this time call to mind our own sins and let us bring them to the Lord asking for his mercy, which he so lovingly pours upon us. Lord Jesus, you made Dominic a light of the church. Lord, have mercy. You called Dominic to preach the gospel. Christ, have mercy. And you renew the face of the earth. Lord, have mercy. 
May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit and the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. May Holy Father Dominic come to the help of your church by his merits and teaching, O Lord, and may he who was an outstanding preacher of your truth be a devoted intercessor on our behalf. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. How beautiful upon the mountains are the feet of the one bringing good news, announcing peace, bearing good news, announcing salvation, saying to Zion, your God is king. Listen, your sentinels raise a cry Together they shout for joy, for they see directly before their eyes the Lord's return to Zion. Break out together in songs, O ruins of Jerusalem, for the Lord has comforted his people, has redeemed Jerusalem. The Lord has bared his holy arms in the sight of all the nations. All the ends of the earth can see the salvation of our God. The word of the Lord. Proclaim his marvelous deeds to all the nations. Sing to the Lord a new song. Sing to the Lord all you lands. Sing to the Lord, bless his name. Announce his salvation day after day. Tell his glory among the nations, among all peoples, his wondrous deeds. Give to the Lord, you families of nations, Give to the Lord glory and praise. Give to the Lord the glory due his name. Say among the nations, the Lord is king. He has made the world firm not to be moved. He governs the peoples with equity. A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to Timothy. Beloved, I charge you in the presence of God and of Christ Jesus, who will judge the living and the dead, and by his appearing and his kingly power, proclaim the word, be persistent, whether it is convenient or inconvenient, convenes, Reprimand, 
encouraged through all patience and teaching. For the time will come when people will not tolerate sound doctrine, but following their own desires and insatiable curiosity, will accumulate teachers and will stop listening to the truth and will be diverted to myths. But you be self-possessed in all circumstances, put up with hardship, perform the work of an evangelist, fulfill your ministry. For I am ready, already being poured out like a libation, and the time of my departure is at hand. I have competed well. I have finished the race. I have kept the faith. From now on, the crown of righteousness awaits me, which the Lord, the just judge, will award to me on that day, and not only to me, but to all who have longed for his appearance. The word of the Lord. The sequence of our Holy Father, Dominic. Wherefore now with jubilation, bless and praise him every nation. Cry aloud and crave his care. Sing Saint Dominic the Glorious. Sing Saint Dominic Victorious. Claim his help and promise prayer. And thou, Father, kind and loving, shepherd, patron, and unreproving, kneeling heaven's high throne before, lift for us thy voice prevailing evermore and evermore. Amen. Alleluia. Your light must shine before others, that they may see your good deeds and glorify your heavenly Father. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. The eleven disciples went to Galilee, to the mountain to which Jesus had ordered them. When they saw him, they worshipped, but they doubted. Then Jesus approached and said to them, All power in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Go therefore and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all that I have commanded you. And behold, I am with you always until the end of the age. The Gospel of the Lord. So as we heard before we began our liturgy today, this weekend we have the honor, the privilege to celebrate St. Dominic, the founder of the Order of Preachers, the patron of our parish community. And there are so many things that the Dominican Order and St. Dominic himself has contributed to our church's history in these past 800 years. 
a myriad of contributions that Dominicans and, and our Holy Father have given to the church for these past eight centuries, of which some of them are encased and enshrined in these stained glass windows that surround us. But for now, for this weekend, three aspects of the Dominican life of how and how this propels us to, towards sainthood. Three aspects, three moments of Dominican history that have contributed on our own road towards sainthood. Those three aspects, the rosary and the virtue of devotion. Number two, the importance of study. And finally, the urgency for the salvation of souls. The rosary, study, and the salvation of souls. So first of all, the rosary. We can look to my right, and we can remember, of course, gazing upon us, this statue of Our Lady of the Rosary. And in speaking to him, Father Anthony Padalano is so proud about how he acquired this statue, how he installed the statue of Our Lady giving the rosary to St. Dominic and St. Catherine for our parish community. He is so proud that he was the one to install this, this statue. And, it's, and the rosary, in some ways, is the perfect devotional prayer. The perfect prayer. We engage our entire being, our lips and our breath, when we say the Lord's Prayer and the Hail Mary and so on. We engage our intellect and our rationale as we contemplate the life of Jesus and Mary. And at least very often here at St. Dominic's after the daily Masses, we pray the rosary as a community. Every aspect of the human being's life, the rosary lifts up the entire being to God, engaged in prayer, asking God for his blessing and his healing. And this is why we Dominicans, why we would preach the rosary all the time, why Dominicans are so devoted to the rosary. Our entire being is a blessing from the Father. So therefore our minds, our bodies, our soul, everything that we are. And the rosary lifts up our entire being to God so that God may grant us his blessing. In this way, the rosary is the perfect prayer, the perfect weapon against our stubbornness and pride. And this is why we Dominicans, we wear the rosary on our left hip. In a way, our own sword of justice and peace and healing to protect and defend ourselves from sin, from pride, protect us from ourselves. In this way, the rosary is the perfect prayer. Secondly, the value of study. One aspect of Dominic's legacy is that he insisted that the brothers go to the finest universities available to train and hone the powers of our intellects. The value of study. Now, it didn't take long for St. Dominic to figure out that the world needed and the people of God deserved the greatest preachers that were trained in the best intellectual acumen as possible. For instance, fast forward 400 years, and we Dominicans, we found ourselves in the city of Manila, founding the Pontifical and Royal University of Santo Tomas, which many of our parishioners had attended. UST is one of the first, first Western-style universities of its kind in Asia. And it's a beautiful campus, and I visited UST twice, gazing upon the very seat that St. John Paul II sat on during World Youth Day. But this value of study, this exalted value of study that we have, early on the order proposed that Jesus Christ, the word, the word that creates all that is and exists, is present in everything visible and invisible, as we profess every Sunday. And because Jesus is the agent of creation, his very fingerprints are on everything within the created order. Not only of our bodies and our souls, not only upon animals and plants, upon everything. This is why we propose that Jesus can and needs to be discovered in all aspects of life. Not only in theology and philosophy, not only in biology or astronomy, but also in economics, in politics, in engineering and music, in pop culture, as well as applied mathematics. All these things, all these fields created eventually by God. And because God created everything, 
God's fingerprints are everywhere. And it's just a matter of finding where those fingerprints are. The Dominican value of study allows us to, say, to imitate St. Dominic himself. One of my favorite sayings about St. Dominic is that he spoke only to God or about God. That he only spoke to God or about God. I love that about St. Dominic. That he only spoke to God or about God. And this indeed is what study does. Study helps us to discover where God is in every aspect of our lives. Where is God? In the Dominican value of study, discovering and acknowledging the presence of Jesus himself anywhere and everywhere within the created order. The value of study. So we have the rosary, the value of study, and finally, number three, the urgency for the salvation of souls. The very mission and the purpose of the order, the salvation of souls. Because all our prayers, all our devotionals, all our study, anything and everything that we do mean absolutely nothing unless it propels us towards sainthood. Paul says in his letters, Woe to me if I preach not the gospel. And the Lord Jesus in our gospel today commissions the apostles to go out to baptize all in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. And Paul and Jesus, they weren't simply speaking for themselves. But indeed, they were speaking for every single one of us to share that joy that Jesus can bring, that Jesus has given us every single day of our lives. And this call to share this joy, to share gospel joy, doesn't only lie on the shoulders of a precious few, but rather upon all of the church baptized. For instance, on social media and beyond, we see young people all the time evangelizing about the new diet, the new movie, the newest workout routine, something. And we have people sharing things about like gender reveals and the next great political movement with enthusiasm, with energy, with great joy. And if Jesus has ever given you joy, if Jesus has ever given you fulfillment, if your friendship with Jesus has ever given you some sort of purpose and true life, what is stopping you from sharing this joy of Christ to your friends and your loved ones? In other words, the urgency to preach for the salvation of souls is not only for us Dominicans. Not only for those who are priests or sisters or, or missionaries in the far reach, far reach out, outreaches of Asia. This mission, this urgency is yours. By virtue of you being a parishioner at St. Dominic's, you are Dominican in some sort of way. Every single one of us has been given that urgency, that mission, that purpose to live the joy of Jesus to live the joy that Jesus is giving you, and then to share that joy with others. The mission and purpose that enraptured me when I was an undergrad, it's the same mission and purpose granted every single parishioner here at St. Dominic's. So are you brave enough to be Dominican today? Are you brave enough to accept this mission? Are you brave enough to accept this purpose, the salvation of souls. Dear friends, today, this, this month, we celebrate St. Dominic, and we rem remember his legacy as well as his challenge. With the life imbued with the graces that the rosary gives us, and together with the challenge to find God in all things, we can invite others to share in the joy that Jesus has given us. So as we prepare to take the Master Preacher into our heart of hearts, let us pray for courage to share that joy of Jesus with others, radiating always his love and his devotion for us.
I believe in God, one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. <clears throat> I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. And by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church, I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. As we celebrate our founder and our patron of this parish community, we invoke St. Dominic's intercession, confident in Jesus' providence for us. We pray that we may grow in fortitude to manifest the joy of the gospel by our study, words, and deeds. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the church in Los Angeles may continue to nurture vocations to the priesthood and religious life, especially towards the Dominican way of life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for the end of war and violence, especially between communities within our cities and between nations. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray that those who suffer from mental, physical, and other illness may find comfort and healing in the divine healer, Jesus Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who are struggling to find proper housing, that they may rely on Jesus to offer them an affordable, comfortable, and safe place to call home. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the repose of the souls of Edna and Julian Feldman, whom we remember in a special way at this Mass, let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. For the intentions written in our Book of Prayer and for all the intentions we hold in the silence of our hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord Jesus Christ, you are the master preacher. May your presence penetrate our stubborn hearts, transforming us to be like you. In your holy and precious name we pray, amen.
pray sacrifice endures may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. Attend mercifully to the prayers we offer to you, O Lord, by the intercession of Holy Father Dominic. And through the great power of this sacrifice, strengthened by the protection of your grace, those who's, who champion the faith through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, and Eternal God, to honor and protect your Holy Church. You desired to renew the apostolic way of life through Saint Dominic, for having fo followed the poor Christ by his preaching, he led the minds of those in error from the truth to the gospel, to the truth of the gospel, and won countless souls for Christ. He wisely joined companions to himself as heralds, heralds of the faith, who strengthened by the light of heavenly knowledge served unceasingly the work of evangelization. And so with all the angels and saints we proclaim you as without end, we acclaim holy, 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 Lord God of hosts. Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread. In giving thanks, he broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins, do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, 
we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. At this morning's Holy Mass, we lift up to you the souls of Edna and Julian Feldman, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, and Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with all the saints, with Saint Dominic and all the Dominican saints, and all those who throughout the ages have pleased you, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours for ever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with love, let us share with one another the sign of the peace of Christ. Peace of Christ. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Let us pray together the act of spiritual communion with those who are on watching and participating online right now and who are not able to receive Holy Communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof. 
but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. May your church, O Lord, receive with wholehearted reverence the power of this heavenly sacrament by which we have been nourished on the commemoration of Holy Father Dominic. And may your church, having flourished by means of his preaching, be helped through his intercession through Christ our Lord. Please be seated for the announcements. On August 20th, Saturday at 9 o'clock, Saturday, August 20th at 9 o'clock, we will have a town hall meeting. It's for ministry leaders. So if you are in one of the many parish ministries, um, uh, we will have that meeting 9 o'clock on Saturday the 20th in the Father Paul Scanlon Community Center. We will be discussing our parish plans for the coming year. Ministry leaders, please join us or send another representative from your group. The Archdiocese of Los Angeles is sponsoring a Eucharistic Congress as a part of Eucharistic Revival, in, which is being celebrated across the United States for the next three years. At the Congress, there will be representations in English and Spanish. There will be presentations in English and Spanish. There will be adoration of the Blessed Sacrament and music. The Eucharistic Congress will be at the Cathedral downtown this coming Saturday, next Saturday, from 9 until 5.30 p.m. Please see the bulletin for more information. If you or someone you know is thinking of coming back to the church after having been a long, uh, away from the church for a long time, um, don't, uh, and they don't know quite how to do that, we are offering you an opportunity to share your experiences, uh, ask questions about uh, the Catholic faith, and discern where God is in your life. Feel free to contact one of our priests or Sister Joy Ann for more information. Please see the bulletin. And uh, St. Dominic's will be publishing a new parish family directory. Oh, it's about time. Those pictures look, make us look pretty young. I know, those, we'll miss those pictures. But uh, we need to update that. It's been a long time. And please participate in this. We want have, to have everyone participate. And um, you will those who do and are photographed will receive a complimentary 8x10 portrait and a free directory. Please see the bulletin for more information and how to sign up online to make your appointment for an individual or a family portrait. The last announcement, we are having a parish raffle for a free ticket to the Holy Land, the pilgrimage to the Holy Land, or $3,700 in cash. The tickets are $10 each, and there is more information in the bulletin. Stand now for, your final, for the final blessing. The Lord be with you. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. May God the Father Almighty who made St. Dominic a servant of the gospel strengthen you in your vocation. Amen. May God who made the kindness and compassion of our Savior shine forth in his servant Dominic, make you conform to the image of his Son. Amen. May God who made St. Dominic rich in mercy toward sinners and the poor fill you with the Holy Spirit for proclaiming the gospel of peace. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit descend upon you and remain with you forever. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life as St. Dominic did. Thanks be to God.